Holy Spirit, come and anoint my lips to speak. Let every ear that can hear, hear what heaven is saying. Let every eye that can see God, see what heaven is doing right here, right now on earth as it is in heaven. And so we just thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking today in Jesus' mighty name. So today I have another word of the Lord for you, something burning on my heart. And if this is like stirring on the inside of you and you know that the Lord is speaking to you, then this message is for you. And this might confirm some things for you too, because God is always confirming what he speaks to you. Okay. So the Lord gave me Matthew 13. And today we're going to talk about the parable of the hidden treasure, an extraordinary pearl. Okay, so heaven's kingdom realm can be illustrated like this. A person discovered that there was a hidden treasure in a field. Upon finding it, he hid it again. Because of uncovering such treasure, he was overjoyed and sold all that he possessed to buy the entire field just so he could have the treasure. Just so he could have this one thing, he bought the entire field. Heaven's kingdom realm is also like a jewel merchant in search of rare pearls. When he discovered one very precious and, and exquisite pearl, he immediately gave up all that he had in exchange for it. Okay, so this is saying... This, we can also see this in Proverbs 2, 4, that the most accepted interpretation of this parable is that Jesus is the treasure, but Jesus taught that the field is the world and the allegory actually breaks down for a believer doesn't sell all he has, which is works. And then by the, by the world to find Jesus, the treasure, it is more plausible to view the hidden treasure as a symbol of you and me. Jesus, Jesus is the man who sold all he owned, leaving his exalted place of glory to come and pay for the sin of the world, the whole world, with his own blood, just so he could have you, his treasure. So king, um, heaven's kingdom realm is experienced when we realize what a great price Jesus places on our souls for he gave us his sacred blood. The rehiding of his treasure is a hint of our new life hidden in God. We are in Christ, okay? And let's talk about this. Jesus is the merchant. You can also see this in Song of Solomon 3, 6, but let me tell you, you are his exquisite treasure. You are his unique pearl. You are his beloved follower that came from the wounded side of Jesus Christ. And you prompted him to give up all that he had, including his sacred blood, in exchange for having you as his very own. This is amazing. So it goes on um, more in Matthew 13. It says, every scholar of the scriptures who is instructed in the ways of heaven's kingdom realm is like a wealthy homeowner with his house filled with treasures, both new and old. And he knows how and when to bring them out to show others. That is where it comes in. Jesus is the merchant. You are his exquisite pearl. He knows when to show you off. Why am I telling you this? Why am I talking about the parable of the hidden treasure? You are in Christ. Jesus died for you so that he could put you on display. And you are, when you are going through things in life, okay, think about it. it you may be a diamond in the rough. You are a diamond in the rough. Holy Spirit, help me. You have been going through things and you know God has called you to greater things. You know. And they say that diamonds are formed under pressure. And you may be going through the pressure. And Jesus sees you not as the diamond in the rough. He sees you as that unique pearl. He sees you as that 
that exquisite treasure and you may be down on yourself and you may see yourself as unworthy but let me tell you God sees you as perfection God sees your greatness and it's the greatness of Jesus Christ on the inside of you he sees God sees you as his son okay as an heir to the kingdom and so we are to allow God to process us in being his treasure in coming under pressure oh Lord Jesus I feel like in this last season we have come under pressure whether that be politically um, financially there's things going on there's stress there's strife in the world there's there's wars there's all these things we have come under pressure but let me tell you God is forming you under that pressure and he is polishing you every facet of who you were created to be God is polishing you and perfecting you to then be put on display for his glory there's a season coming where God is going to use you mightily but it's time to step out in faith do you want God to use you mightily as his exquisite treasure you are so precious to him and he wants you to be a vessel of his glory okay we cannot sit back anymore we have to arise we have to shine the treasure of the Lord has to shine and that's you okay there's coming a time where we are stepping into this greater glory this greater glory where God is wanting to add more and more treasures to his kingdom which is souls and this next coming glory is not going to be like anything we've ever seen before and these diamonds that have been crushed and formed under pressure aren't going to be thrown on a stage aren't going to come up and like be the only one shining no it's a collective shining because when different streams of light come together it shines brighter okay this next move of God isn't gonna be just the one man band prophesying and preaching on the stage all the treasures need to come together to shine bright all the treasures need to come together in unity and allow the Spirit of God to move however he wants to to move it's going to be real it's going to be raw it's no eye has seen no eye has heard or no eye has seen no ear has heard what heaven has planned okay I'm telling you I want to provoke you today to shine bright that God everything be used for his glory even this last season as it may have been hard for you do you want to shine bright as the treasure of the Lord do you want to be a shining bright a bright light in this world right now because God needs all hands on deck to advance the kingdom of God but let me tell you you are so loved by God that he died just so you could be his treasure he sacrificed his precious blood just so that you could be you could come back as a treasure of God it's like he gave it away he hid it away and then he retrieved it again he he paid for the whole world he paid for the whole world so that he could get his treasures back and so I want to encourage you today I want you to see yourself as a treasure of God and when the glory of God when that light on the inside of you starts to beam out and shine bright with kindness with peace with love with the anointing of the Holy Spirit that light it, when you choose to shine bright and you use the light of Christ on the inside of you you are multifaceted and God people are going to see a different facet of God through you you're gonna sparkle okay and 
I hope this resonates with you. I want you to shine bright. We have to advance the kingdom of heaven. We have to be used. There has to be a unity of the body of Christ. All hands on deck, like I said. We need the hands. We need the feet. We need the legs. We need the arm. And Jesus is the head of the body of Christ. But we all have to work together and shine at the same time so we can move together in unity and advance and take down the giants of the land. Okay? Take down and and stand against wickedness. Stand against the unjust, the unrighteousness, the unholiness, okay? We are there's a clarion call to come up higher in the realm of the spirit. And what does that mean? come into greater intimacy with Jesus to see how he sees the world that your heart would burn so hot for the things that burn for his so that we can make a difference in the world and this goes along even with the wealth transference okay those who are are willing to be a vessel of God and shine bright and advance the kingdom and come together in unity. This is why the wealth transference is taking place so that we can have the funds and the blessings and all of that to advance the kingdom of God so that we can shine bright so that our word goes out further. And so if this resonates with you, I want you to put in the comments, I'm shining bright for Jesus. Use me, Lord. I am dreaming big. Put a comment in the comments and let me know that you want to be used by God. And I want to pray for you. Let me know what you are believing for. Make that declaration in the comments. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I will be putting out more prophetic words of what the Lord is saying. More encouragement, more motivation up through the Holy Spirit and I want you to come alongside this journey with me. We are creating this community here on my channel to come together to dream big with God and advance the kingdom like never before and so come alongside me and check out my subscriptions, my membership and join my dream crew, okay? Because I want to I want to empower you to be the hands and feet of Jesus and to dream bigger and get rid of those un the unbelief in your life and and the poverty mindsets and the small thinking we have to think like heaven thinks so check that out and remember put a comment in the comments that you want to be used by God and I will be praying for you so I just thank you Lord for each and every person watching this video God I thank you that you are moving upon their hearts to be used by you Lord that they would make the choice to be a living sacrifice for you, that they would shine bright and that you would magnify the light of Christ within them, God, so that they can be effective in the here, in the now to advance the kingdom like never before in Jesus' mighty name. And I love you guys so much. And you know who loves you more? Jesus. So I will talk to you guys later and see you next time.